Hey everybody, it's a lazy day today. Didn't sleep good last night, my back hurts. So I've decided to uh, hurt my back a little bit more. I've got the wild hair up my butt to change the oil in the Buick and it's sitting in a, a barn with a dirt floor. So I went to Walmart, got me a jug and some stuff to change it in. Got some poor man's creeper here, cardboard. We're gonna head up to the barn here and I'm gonna see about raising the old car up if I can get it raised up enough with the airbags to where I can kind of reach under it. And I'm gonna change the oil in it. I've been kind of leery about driving it since uh, I got it hot the other day. So I wanna get the oil changed in it. I'm gonna go do the antifreeze, antifreeze too when I get the chance, but here it is hanging out. So uh, I'm gonna hop out here and get the thing raised up and we'll be back here in a minute and see what we're gonna do. Well, I got my setup here. It's not very spacious, but I think I'll fit. Uh, we're going with the Wix filter. I don't use anything with these or the, the Napa Gold. They're the same thing, made by the same people. Um, going with the uh, Vaveline VR1 oil. It has a high zinc content in it, which these old engines with the flat tappet cams seem to like a lot. I bought a, a filter wrench because I wasn't sure if I had one or not, but then I found one in the trunk too. So whatever I end up using, I have it. But we'll get up into here. I'm gonna set the phone down for a second and uh, put these gloves on. Not that they're gonna help anyway. I'm gonna end up covered in oil and grease regardless, but at least I can say I've tried, right? <laughs> Alrighty, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm take my hat off. Alright, let's get this drain plug off of here. Hopefully the oil ain't gonna be too hot coming out. I just it, I had it running about an hour ago. But I think it'll be all right. There we go. All right, we draining. Uh oh, I got my cardboard dirty. <laughs> all right, put that there so I don't lose it. I'm let my oil drain for a little bit. That oil is black because uh, well, it ain't that old, but. Well, I, this is first time using this uh, Valvoline VR1. I've been using this conventional oil and adding the uh, high mileage additive to it that has uh, zinc in it. And I think that makes your oil black. But uh, anyway, I'm just glad to get this uh, oil out of it after I overheated it. I mean, it's been running fine. I've only driven it one time since I got it hot. But uh make me feel better. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and Flush the radiator out at some point and get new cooling in it. I need to take the radiator off anyway and uh, <clears throat> uh, have it patched up. It's got a little leak around the tank at the top. But uh, <clears throat> I'll grab the phone and take a look under here while it's draining to kind of show you the air ride because I don't think I've ever showed a video of it. But uh, there's my bags for the front. They're uh, Firestone 2600s. All I had to do to make them fit was just trim that spring pocket out up in the top. You see where it's cut out in the circle to keep it from rubbing all the way around. Everything else is bolted right in. Same over here. I am considering uh, cutting, ouch, hit my head. This little cup here off of the bottom of the A-arm here, the lower A-arm, uh, that's where the bump stop was. And I think I might gain about another three quarters inch to an inch, getting it closer to the ground if I change that out. And uh, I might cut the rear cups too as well. But as you can see, it's a greasy, grimy old driver. This is not a show car. I do what I can to keep it halfway running. Uh, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get the oil filter off this thing real quick. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, 
Maybe it works. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and that is why you don't over tighten your oil filter when you change them out. Because then they're 100 times easier to put back on. Right, I'm going to kind of rotate my tub here so that I'm still draining into it, but I can catch what runs off of the uh, oil filter as well. Okay, donkey. Barely room. All right. Made a mess. Slippery. There it is. Well, considering I haven't gotten too much oil on the ground, and one thing I forgot is a rag to clean off when my filter's going to go back on. But uh, uh, I figure you've seen enough of the bottom of the car here. I'm going to get things wrapped up and then I'll pick back up here in a minute. <coughs> got my little bead of fresh oil on the filter here. I'm going to go ahead and run it back up on there. <clears throat> these oil filters on these nail heads are so easy to get to. You don't have to get all the way out of the car to get to it. As if there wasn't enough things for me to love about these engines already. I got that on there. It's still dripping a little bit, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the drain plug back under it and call it done. Because anything that's left in there ain't much. Oil pan's got a little bit of a dent in the bottom of it, so the, <laughs> the, the drain plug is up in there a little bit. I guess it's all right. And not that it matters because it's so grimy in here anyway, but let's just go ahead and wipe the rest of that off the bottom of the oil pan. All right. So, we is done under here. I'm going to climb out from here real quick. So I'm just getting ready to put the, the last little bit of uh, oil in here. The uh, 364, 401, and uh, 425 nail heads all take uh, four and a half quarts as far as the oil capacity. So we're going to fill it up to that. And then after I get it all topped off, I should be able to just fire it up to get the filter or turn it over a few times to get the uh, the filter filled. And that should have me right at the level I need to be. I'm looking at the thing here. Millimeters. I got a little bit more to go. And this thing leaks a little bit and probably burns a little bit too. So it ain't gonna hurt to overfill it just a hair if I'm not exactly right. So a little bit more. All right, I think that's good. Keep this little port here in front of the battery for if I ever need it. Up here with my little jug of transmission fluid and my filter. What car guy do you know that doesn't have the emergency section under the hood here with everything they need? But uh, I'm gonna let that funnel run down a little bit real quick so it doesn't sling all over everywhere when I pull it out. 
but uh, I'm pretty much done here. Just got to put my, my oil cap, my breather cap back on and turn it over, check the oil, and should be good to go. But can't beat this for a scenery for an oil change. Oh, yeah. There's a new house down there. It's coming along. But uh, thank you for following me along on this uh, impromptu video today. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.